Hey guys, what's up? My name is Arkit and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to learn how you can use the Hummingbird Cache plugin in your WordPress website. If you have a WordPress website and you use a cache plugin that is Hummingbird, then you must watch this video to learn how to use this plugin properly. So without wasting any further time, let's begin. Okay, so now we are on the computer screen and now the plugin which I was talking about is Hummingbird. So if you want to install the plugin, just go to your plugins, add plugin and search for Hummingbird and hit enter. So this is the plugin Hummingbird Optimize Speed Enable Cache Minify CSS and Defer Critical JS. So if you don't know what is cache, so I have a link down below the video where I talked about what is cache and explained it properly or you can find it here in the i button. First go and watch this and know what is cache and then use this, come to this video and use this plugin to remove cache from your WordPress website. Okay, so now you just click install and then click active and after that your plugin will be installed. So now you go down here and select Hummingbird. So after that you will be redirected to this page and from here we are going to make the changes in your plugin. So basically this is a great plugin and it's absolutely free. It's a very good cache plugin. And, before, and actually it's really better than W3 Total Cache. You see W3 Total Cache is a very popular plugin in, and most of the people recommend it for uh, to clear the cache in WordPress website. But when I use W3 Total Cache, I found out a lot of problems in the free version of W3 Total Cache. The CSS got mixed up, the HTML files got mixed up and the site uh, got more slower. And I don't know about the premium version of W3 Total Cache, but the free version of W3 Total Cache is not up to the mark. But this plugin Hummingbird, I have been using it for two weeks and it's a really, really great plugin. So uh, if you remember, I made a video on uh, the best free image optimizer plugin. This is the same plugin by the same company. Also have that video link down below if you want to watch that, how you can compress your image and that plugin is also free. So the plugin this company makes are really great and in the they also have a pro version, but in the free version, they offer you a lot of features that uh, in future, if you want to go for pro version, you can do that. So now in the dashboard from here, we're gonna make the changes. So first you have your performance report. So if you run the test here, it will show you how much time your website takes to load and all that stuff. And as you can see, it's also written here, run a Google page speed test and get itemized insight with fixes on where you can improve your website performance. So for example, let's click here, run test. So as you can see, uh, the test is in progress and it just a few seconds will know what are the errors in my website. So as you can see, here, I just got only 40 out of 100 uh, for the performance. So here it would show you what are the errors in your website. It's a re reduce initial server response time, eliminate render bl blocking resources. And here are the things which are a little bit good in your website. So it would differ from website to website. If your website is, if you're on a hosting on a really good server, then it uh, the problems might be fixed. So here you can all see all the problems that uh, is on the website and why is your website slow. And these are the things, past audits means these are the things which are correct on your website. So in this way, you can check uh, all the problems that you have on your website. Okay, so now, if we go down here in page ca caching, so this is basically it's written here store static HTML copies of your pages and posts to reduce the processing load on your server and it would speed up your website. So what would happen is when you create a WordPress website and the backend, there are many HTML files, CSS files and JavaScript files. So whenever a web someone opens your website, these files load on their browser and the new website is displayed. So what this plugin does is it make some static HTML copies of that pages and stores them in the user browser. So whenever the user visits the website second time, the website, your website loads pretty quickly and it doesn't have to load all the files again and again. So it's a really great feature. So from here, you could uh, enable this. I've already enabled this. As you can see, it's written here, page caching is currently active. So you don't need to configure any settings. The default settings are all good. So you'd have an option here to activate. After you activate, this one will be activated. Now, 
browser caching so browser caching basically means i store temporary data on your visitor devices so that they don't have to download assets twice they don't have to so basically the files that are downloaded is being javascript files css file media file images so whenever a user visits your website these files are downloaded and stored in the temp temporary form that is cache okay i told you know you have to clear cache so this is basically cache files so you would have to set a time so after you see one year is written here so one year is basically means that after one year this file should be deleted and again when he, uh, when he or she visits your website or my website then these files will again be downloaded and the expiry time would be one year if you want to change anything you can choose configure here and do that but the default settings as i said is really great you don't have to change anything now next comes gravatar caching so gravatar caching gravatar basically means the photos your profile picture which is present on your website this is basically means gravatar caching so it stores uh, local copies of your gravatars on the browser so that when a user visits it doesn't load again and again and this way your website would be faster so this is basically all the things that you need to do to completely prepare this plugin for your wordpress website and now to clear your cache in your wordpress website here you have the button clear cache you just click on that okay so now our cache is cleared and now let's go to our website okay so now our website is loaded and uh, i can see the website loads a if you you'll notice that your website will load a little bit more faster after clearing the cache because the file size is reduced so whenever you feel like your website is being slow so just go to your website and to easily access this on the top you would have hummingbird and here would have clear page cache so just click this and your cache will be cleared Okay, so this was the tutorial of Hummingbird. I hope you like it. And if you have any doubt regarding this tutorial, then let me know in the comment section and I will reply to you as soon as possible. And also, if you don't know what is cache and all that, you have a link down below the video or in the i button. You can check out that video. And also, you can try out their free image optimizer plugin that is Mush. I have also link of that video in down below on the video description also the link of this plugin is also in the video description and also subscribe to the channel for more such content if you want to follow me on social media i have my all my social media handles down below in the video description thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video till then bye